हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर प्रिया महाजन टुडे विल स्टडी द प्राइस कंजम्पशन कर्व द प्राइस कंजम्पशन कर्व इज ए ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन यूज्ड इन इकोनॉमिक्स टू इलस्ट्रेट हाउ चेंजेस इन द प्राइस ऑफ ए गुड और सर्विस अफेक्ट द क्वांटिटी कंज्यूम्ड ऑफ दैट गुड वाइल कीपिंग द कंज्यूमर्स इनकम एंड प्राइसिस ऑफ अदर गुड्स कॉन्स्टेंट it is primarily used in microeconomics to analyze consumer behavior and understand how consumers respond to changes in prices in this session we will study what is price consumption curve graphical representation of price consumption curve the slopes of price consumption curve and in last breaking up price effect into income and substitution effect so first of all what is price consumption curve it is a curve which shows the optimal combination of two commodities that consumer will buy at different prices of one commodity while holding income and price of other commodity in the words of ferguson and morris the price consumption curve is a locus of equilibrium points relating to quantity x purchased in relation to its price money income and all other price remaining constant when the price of good changes the consumer would be either better off or worse off than before depending upon whether the price falls or rises in other words as a result of change in price of good his equilibrium position would lie at a higher indifference curve in case of the fall in price and at a lower indifference curve in case of the rise in price hence the line joining the equilibrium points on different budget lines and indifference curves due to change in price is shown by price consumption curve now we will see the graphical representation of price consumption curve as shown in figure 1 with given prices of goods x and y and a given money income as represented by the budget line pl1 the consumer is in equilibrium at q on indifference curve ic1 in this equilibrium position at q he is buying om1 of x and on1 of y commodity let price of good x fall price of good y and his money income remaining unchanged as a result of this price change budget line shift to the position pl2 the consumer is now in equilibrium at r on a higher indifference curve ic2 and is buying om2 of x commodity and on2 of y commodity he has thus become better off that is his level of satisfaction has increased as a consequence of the fall in price of good x suppose that price of x further falls so that pl3 is now the relevant price line with budget line pl3 the consumer is in equilibrium at s on indifference curve ic3 where he has om3 of x and on3 of y commodity if the price of good x falls still further so that budget line now takes the position of pl4 the consumer now attains equilibrium at t on indifference curve ic4 and has om4 of x and on4 of y commodity when all the equilibrium points such as q r s and t are joined together we get what is called price consumption curve price consumption curve traces out the price effect it shows how the changes in price of good x will affect the consumers purchases of x whereas the price of y his taste and money income remaining unaltered in figure 1 price consumption curve is sloping downward downward sloping price consumption curve for good x means that as the price of good x falls the consumer purchases a larger quantity of good x and a smaller quantity of good y downward sloping curve generally happened in case of normal goods 
Next, we will study the different slopes of price consumption curve. The slopes of price consumption curve are classified as upward sloping price consumption curve, downward sloping price consumption curve, backward sloping price consumption curve, horizontal sloping price consumption curve and price consumption curve with varying slopes. First, we will study the upward sloping price consumption curve. In figure 2, upward sloping price consumption curve is shown. Upward sloping price consumption curve for X means that when the price of good X falls, the quantity demanded of both goods X and Y rises. It means that change in the price of commodity X affects not only the quantity demanded of X but also the quantity demanded of Y although the price of Y commodity does not change. We obtain the upward sloping price consumption curve for good X when the demand for good is inelastic that is price elasticity is less than 1. Next is downward sloping price consumption curve. When the price of commodity changes for which the demand is elastic, the price consumption curve so drawn is downward sloping. It means a little change in price of the commodity result in more change in quantity demanded of that commodity. Here we can take the example of coffee and tea. Let coffee is good X and T is Y. When the price of coffee is rupees 50 per cup, then you might prefer drinking tea because it is more affordable at rupees 10 per cup. So you can consume less coffee and more tea. As the price of coffee decreases to rupees 30 per cup, it becomes more attractive relative to tea and you may start buying more coffee less than tea. If the price of coffee drops further rupees 20 per cup, you might increase your coffee consumption even more, reducing your consumption of tea. Finally, if price of coffee reaches rupees 10 per cup, it's now a very economical choice compared to tea and you might significantly increase your coffee consumption, replacing tea with coffee. Hence, the price consumption curve will be downward sloping. Next is backward sloping price consumption curve. Price consumption curve can also have a backward sloping shape which is depicted in figure 4. Backward sloping price consumption curve for good X indicates that when price of X falls, after a point smaller quantity of it is demanded or purchased. This is true in case of exceptional type of goods called Giffen goods. Then next we have horizontal price consumption curve. Price consumption curve for a good can take the horizontal shape too. It means that when the price of good X declines, its quantity purchased rises proportionately but quantity purchased of Y remains the same. Horizontal price consumption curve is shown in figure 5. We obtain horizontal price consumption curve of good X when the price elasticity of demand for good X is equal to unity. Price consumption curve with varying slopes. Now we will study the price consumption curve with varying slopes but it is rarely found that price consumption curve slopes downward throughout or slopes upward throughout or slopes backward throughout. More generally, price consumption curve has different slopes at different price ranges. At higher price level, it generally slopes downward and it may then have a horizontal shape for some price ranges but ultimately it will be sloping upward. For some price ranges, it can be backward sloping as in case of given goods. A price consumption curve which has different shapes or slopes at different price ranges is drawn in figure 6. You can see figure 6. So this is about the price consumption curves and we studied the different slopes of price consumption curve of good X depending upon its elasticity. Next we will study the breaking up price effect into income and substitution effect. As we have noted above, 
a change in the price of commodity x other things remaining the same causes a change in the demand for x this change in demand is called price effect the total price effect consists of two direct effects of price changes on consumers choice that is income effect and substitution effect income effect arises due to change in consumers real income or purchasing power caused by change in price a rise in price reduces and fall in price increases consumers real income a change in real income causes a change in consumers consumption basket this is called income effect of price change on the other hand substitution effect arises due to change in the relative price when the price of one commodity decreases it becomes relatively cheaper than the other the consumers have an inherent tendency to substitute cheaper goods for relatively costlier ones this is called substitution effect thus the total price effect is composed of income and substitution effect in this section we will explain how total price effect is split into two components income and substitution effect there are two methods of decomposing price effect into substitution effect and income effect they are the hicksian method and slusky method in this section hicksian method is explained hicksian method uses two methods of splitting the price effects namely compensating variation in income and equivalent variation in income how the price effect can be decomposed into income effect and substitution effect by the hicksian method is explained breaking up price effect by compensating variation in income so in the method of breaking up price effect by compensating variation we adjust the income of the consumer so as to offset the change in satisfaction resulting from the change in price of good and bring the consumer back to his original indifference curve that is his initial level of satisfaction which he was obtaining before the change in price occurred for instance when the price of a commodity falls and consumer moves to a new equilibrium position at a higher indifference curve his satisfaction increases to offset this gain in satisfaction resulting from a fall in price of the good we must take away from the consumer enough income to force him to come back to his original indifference curve this required reduction in income uh, say through uh, leaving a uh, lump sum tax to cancel out the gain in satisfaction or welfare occurred by reduction in price of a good is called compensating variation in income this is so called because it compensate in a negative way for the gain in satisfaction resulting price reduction of the commodity how the price effect is broken up into substitution effect and income effect through the method of compensating variation in income is illustrated in figure 7 now let's try to understand this through this graph in the price line pl1 the consumer is equilibrium on q at indifference curve ic1 when price of good x falls and as a result budget line shifts to pl2 the real income of the consumer rises that is he can buy more of both the goods with his given money income that is price reduction and largest consumers opportunity to set up the two goods with the new budget line pl2 he is in equilibrium at point r on a indifference on a higher indifference curve ic2 and thus gain in satisfaction as a result of fall in price of good x now if his money income is reduced by the compensating variation in income it means that if some of his income is taken back from him 
and thus he is forced to come back to the original indifference curve IC1 he would buy more of X since X has now become relatively cheaper than before. In the figure 7 it can see that as a result of the fall in price of X price lines which is to PL2 now with the reduction in income by compensating variation budget line shifts to AB which has been drawn parallel to PL2 so that it just touches the indifference curve IC1 where he was before the fall in price of X. Since the price line AB has got the same slope as PL2 it represents the changed relative price with X being relatively cheaper than before. Now X being relatively cheaper than before the consumer in order to maximize his satisfaction in the new price income situation substitute X for Y. Thus when the consumer's money income is reduced by the compensating variation in income which is equal to PA in terms of Y and L2B in terms of X the consumer moves along the same M difference curve IC1 and substitutes X for Y. With price line AB he is in equilibrium at S on indifference curve IC1 and is buying MK more of X in place of Y. This movement from Q to S on the same indifference curve IC1 represents the substitution effect since it occurs due to the change in relative price alone. Real income remaining constant. If the amount of money income which was taken away from him is now given back to him, he would move from S on indifference curve IC1 to R on a higher indifference curve IC2. The movement from S on a lower indifference curve to R on a higher indifference curve is the result of income effect. Thus the movement from Q to R due to price effect can be regarded as having been taken place into two steps. First from Q to S as a result of substitution effect and second from S to R as a result of income effect. It is thus clear that price effect is the combined result of a substitution effect and a income effect. In figure 7 the various effects on the purchase of good X are price effect is equal to MN, substitution effect is equal to MK, income effect is equal to KN thus MN is equal to MK plus KN or price effect is equal to substitution effect plus income effect. From the above analysis it is thus clear that price effect is the sum of income and substitution effect. Next is the breaking up price effect by equivalent variation in income. As mentioned earlier price effect can be split up into substitution and income effects through an alternative method of equivalent variation in income. The reduction in price of a commodity increases consumer satisfaction as it enables him to reach a higher indifference curve. Now the same increase in satisfaction can be achieved through bringing about an increase in his income prices remaining constant. The increase in income of the consumer prices of goods remaining the same so as to enable him to move to a higher subsequent indifference curve at which he in fact reaches with reduction in price of a good is called equivalent variation in income because it represents the variation income that is equivalent in terms of gain in satisfaction to a reduction in price of the good. Thus in this equivalent income variation method substitution effect is shown along the subsequent indifference curve rather than the original one. How this price effect is decomposed into income and substitution effects through equivalent variation in income is shown in figure 8. When price of good X falls the consumer can purchase more of both the goods that is the purchasing power of his given money income rises. 
it means that after the fall in price of x if the consumer buys the same quantity of good as before then some amount of money will be left over in other words the fall in price of good x will release some amount of money money thus released can be spent on purchasing more of both the goods it therefore follows that a change in price of the good produces an income effect when the power to purchase goods rises due to the income effect of the price change the consumer has to decide how this increase in his purchasing power is to be spread over the two goods he is buying how he will spread the released purchasing power over the two goods depends upon the nature of his income consumption curve which in turn is determined by his preferences about the two goods from above it follows that as a result of the increase in his purchasing power or real income due to the fall in price the consumer will move to a higher indifference curve and will become better off than before it is as if price had remained the same but his money income was increased in other words a fall in price of good x does to the consumer what an equivalent rise in money income would have done to him as a result of fall in price of x the consumer can therefore be imagined as moving up to a higher indifference curve along the income consumption curve as if his money income had been increased prices of x and y remaining unchanged thus a given change in price can be thought of as a as an equivalent to an appropriate change in income it will be seen from figure 8 that with price line pl1 the consumer is in equilibrium at q on indifference curve ic1 suppose price of good x falls price of y and his money income remaining unaltered so that budget line is now pl2 with budget line pl2 he is in equilibrium at r on indifference curve ic2 now a line ab is drawn parallel to pl1 so that it touches the indifference curve ic2 at s it means that the increase in real income or purchasing power of the consumer as a result of the fall in price of x is equal to pa in terms of y and l1 b in terms of x movement of the consumer from q on indifference curve ic1 to s on the higher indifference curve ic2 along the income consumption curve is the result of the income effect of the price change but the consumer will not be finally in equilibrium at s this is because now that x is relatively cheaper than y he will substitute x it will be gainful for the consumer to do so thus the consumer will move along the indifference curve ic2 from s to r this movement from s to r has taken place because of the change in relative prices alone and therefore represents substitution effect thus the price effect can be broken up into income and substitution effects showing in this case substitution along the subsequent indifference curve in figure 8 the magnitudes of the various effects are price effect is equal to mn income effect is equal to mh substitution effect is equal to hn therefore mn is equal to mh plus hn so price effect is equal to income effect plus substitution effect so this is about the breaking up price effect through hicksian method so uh, students this is all about price consumption curve thank you and happy learning